Diane in Denmark here. Well, I couldn't make a Use Your Magic Timer video series without using my timer to do a bit of kitchen cleanup and shining my sink. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I actually had to stop the kids tonight after we had dinner and say, don't put your stuff in the dishwasher because in our house, we normally, we all, uh, when we rise from the table, when we've eaten our dinner, everybody takes their own plate, knife, cup, cutlery, you know, whatever it is, and rinses it off and pops in the dishwasher. And that's less work for mum. Uh, and they also take away one or two items from the table, you know, if we've had ketchup out or beetroot, it's, it's their job to take one or two items. And that way, kitchen cleanup is a breeze. Anyway, I'm going to use my timer as a stopwatch. There we go, we are running. I didn't forget to switch on this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get everything into the dishwasher as I normally would do after. And remember, I do this straight uh, once we've had our dinner. I, I don't go off, uh, you know, looking at my, my phone, checking social media and sitting down in the living room and thinking, oh, I'll just have a break because what happens is I never want to come back again. So I like to get it done as soon as we've eaten. So I just like to rinse them. This can go as well. And I was making Danish meatloaf tonight. I was using this uh, when I was making the gravy, but when I get this thing out, I always feel like I'm about to inseminate some cows. So anyway, that all splits up and goes in the dishwasher as well. There. And just a few more things. And my daughter actually said, Mum, are you going to make a video about, about this? Because she couldn't understand why I said to her, oh no, just leave everything, I'll, I'll do it tonight. So it just shows you, if you teach your kids well, they, they just clear up them after themselves. All right, that's one. It's also really easy to clean up after, um, you know, after dinner, if you actually clean as you go along, you know, as you're preparing the vegetables or as you are, you know, as you're putting things in pots, I always try and make it that just before we sit down for dinner that I clear the decks as much as possible and then it's not quite so often. Right, hold on. Right, that's everything in the dishwasher. I'm just going to move my, my digital pressure cooker and go somewhere else. Right. Then dry my chopping board, which you may have seen last week. I was oiling it when we were in uh, zone two kitchen. Actually, it was two weeks ago, wasn't it? Gosh, time flies. Uh, right, next thing. How are we doing? And listen, if you don't need to do kitchen cleanup, go ahead and do something else. Or maybe you're going to unload the dishwasher or stack the dishwasher. 
Right, I've got everything in the uh, dishwasher, nothing left in the sink, just a few bits of food. Get rid of those underneath the sink. And you know what, when I empty this little uh, collector thing, I always feel like I'm a barista in a coffee bar. Right, okay. Next, a wee scoosh of um, my spray that I like. And I use an environmentally friendly one, but it does smell nice and it's got a wee bit of, uh, I think, essential oils in it which is quite good for my kitchen worktop because we have um, wooden worktops, right? I'm just going around all the worktops. There we go. And here, that got splashed. And then I shall do the table behind me. When I finish this video, what we normally do is we set the table for breakfast because I am so just not feeling it in the mornings. So anything that I can do the night before to make um, the next day get off to a good start is great. So we'll be setting the table for breakfast. Right, I wipe down the stove. For me is uh, I normally use the dish towel or the hand towel just to wipe out the sink. And, and that's it, I'm just drying it out. I'm not you know getting out the all the different products. Right, there we go, and then these ones are going to wash. And I'll just take another one. I keep them down underneath, you can see here, underneath the, um, the hob. And the other. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we are. <laughs> it's a bit cheesy, but this is a new dish towel that I picked up the other day. It says, Home Living Happy Moments. Right, clean ones are out. There we go, and what's it say on the timer? Da, 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 da. Seven minutes and 25 seconds. Now, I, I, I know some of you uh, don't have a dishwasher, hand washing. That's not the aim of this video. The aim of this video is just to show that when you use your timer, it keeps you focused and stops you also from spending too much time on the job. Because when you have the timer beside you, I've used it to count up, just to show you how long it actually took me to get this cleared. But if you set it for 10 minutes, and I know some of you in the evening, you are just dying, you're dead on your feet, like the way that I feel uh, in the morning. But if you can say to yourself, you know what, I'm gonna do 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes, I'm gonna stop. It actually makes us work a little bit faster. And when the 10 minutes are over, you get to stop and you know go off and enjoy the rest of your evening. So anyway, that's for me. I'm gonna keep this video very short. Next thing I'm going to do is set the table for breakfast and set up uh, the coffee for the morning because you know I love to have my coffee first thing. Um, so I'm just getting my cups out and we'll do that. So live long and prosper or jelly beans or whatever you want to say. Uh, see you very soon and keep using that magic timer. Bye for now, Diane in Denmark signing off.